Hey guys, it's James here. Um, this is a late uh, tutorial to see. My internet was uh, bugging out yesterday, couldn't do anything uh, about it, so yeah, deal with it. <laughs> um, set your background, whatever width, height you want. Okay, uh, first layer, let's make a white background. And then go ahead and make a new layer. Uh, go the Eclipse, Ellipse tool, I mean. And let's make this black because it's make it sort of biggish because this is going to be your back layer, and that's not black. Um, there we go. Still not black, but whatever. Um, that's because the opacity is down. All right, um, could make that bit bigger. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> First thing you're gonna do, or oh, actually, let's go ahead and Control J, duplicate that. Go into the first uh, circle and put on bevel and on base. I hit OK. Hide the second shape. Go back to the first one. Um, let's put an outer glow on it. Uh, make it <coughs> black. Uh, go to normal. Um, come down to color overlay. Oops, sorry, not that. Um, we can add an inner glow on there. Make that white. Bring the size up to whatever. I wouldn't bring it too far in like that far, but um, around 18, 17. Uh, add a drop shadow. <coughs> bring the size up to about. 35 um, upper city to uh, anything doesn't really matter and um, go back to bevel and boss let's make the size um, let's make it around 40 35 yeah depth to 100 actually let's bring that back to 30 32 there you go um, go to gloss contour I'm gonna select which other one you want they all have different colors uh, I mean shapes but I like this one the best looks cool it's got a nice effect to it um, first color you're gonna want to make it near dark gray and then second color Let's make that a light white. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, we're done with that for now. <clears throat> uh, unhide the other layer. Just kind of bring it in a little bit so the light it's kind of matching the out part, outer ring. There you, go. you want the white circle to kind of be even with the out, outside. The bottom doesn't really matter, it's going to be that way. Um, right, it looks good right there. Uh, let's bring that under the first one. So it's got a kind of indent type thing. Um, let's go ahead and throw in a shadow on there. Make it whitish, white, yeah. Bring it to about 21. <coughs> We're gonna put a gradient on this, a radial for the style. A blend mode normal. Go to your gradient and make the first color, doesn't really matter what, but make sure it's like a light. Lighter than the other side will be. Then for the outer part, we'll make it a darker blue. Right about there. Okay. <coughs> um, can put an in the glow on it. Uh, make it white, or we could do blue actually. Whatever color. Uh, for the remote. Make it about twenty-five.
screen, I'll just type it. And that should be good for now. We can, no, never mind. <coughs> I'm actually gonna bring that above first layer, my bad. Um, next, let's do the text. Um, I'm using a Transformers font. Uh, this is gonna say MFX for now. Make it decent size. Right about that is good. Um, now we're going to twist this, give it a nice little angle. Um, let's go back into the shape one real fast. Change the bevel and emboss, change the angle to 85. Yeah, that's good. I shouldn't have done that. Just cancel that and do it again. Yeah, angle to 85. Um, that's good. Now we're going to add, go to your ellipse tool, make it, make sure it's a white color. The color oh. Make sure the color is white. New layer, I forgot. Um, just make it not too big. It's going to be the top for a nice little glow. Right about there. Clear layer cell. Don't know why I did that. Um, bring it to the top so it kind of just makes it even right at the top. Yeah, that doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, go into blend in options. Oh, actually, put a clipping mask on it first. And then go to gradient. Make sure you've got it black to white. Line air. And that should be good. Um, Hold shift so you can make it straight. Looks good. Could actually do that the other way. There you go. <coughs> um, bring that upper city down to about 70. That's good. And make a new layer. The exact same thing but a little bit bigger. Let's make it about that big, bigger than the other one. Yeah, right there. Don't know why it just copies my layer style, but oh well. Um, we're gonna even that up again. The top. Uh, go ahead and add a clipping mask to that. Uh, gradient, same thing. Uh, Hold shift, make it straight. Looks good. Bring that down to about 50. Yeah. Then pull that under your first um, overlay thing. You can actually bring this about down to a 50, I guess. And let's make another one. And just make this more of an egg shape this time. Yeah, right about there. Uh, bring that to the top also. Even it. <coughs> Clipping mask. Exact same thing. Um, bring that down also. 50. Oh, that's, yeah, 50. Mm, bring that to the bottom. That kind of gives it a nice glow effect. Uh, now let's work on the text. Let's give it a drop shadow. Uh, size is your choice. I'll do 10. Um, looks good. Inner shadow. Make it noticeable. So let's do about 15. Yeah, and then distance about 10. Okay, um, outer glow, 
change it to white uh, make sure it's on normal size bring it to zero and spread all the way up actually bring the size to about one <coughs> and then can do an inner glow uh, bring that to white also size I would make it quite low about five uh, that's a normal also um, can put a bevel and emboss on it if you want looks somewhat better yeah I guess you could leave that on um, that's all for that um, other than that I think you're good quite simple actually I mean to make one like this you also got to have a grey gradient, all that, and then textures in the middle, fade it, and just do the circle thing like we did on ours. Uh, three circles, that one only has one though. Circles are optional, they're up to you. Just gives it a better glow type. Uh, more glossy type thing, I mean, actually. But yeah, that's that, guys. Thanks for watching.